Ketchum Girls Basketball hosting John Jay, John Jay and the Road Blues, and came out guns a-blazing. Haley Karst gets the layup. Inside to Bernadette Radovic. Jay had an 11-2 lead late in the first quarter. But Ketchum was holding strong, and Maya Smith drives in for two of her eight points. But Jay wasn't going to let Ketchum close the gap that easily, as Allison Shaw hits a long ranger. Still, the Indians had plenty of weapons and would need all of them. Meg Nardelli doesn't take no for an answer. She drives right down Main Street for two of her 13 points on the night. Jay led 15-8 after one. But once Katie Wall got in a groove, this game was about to get interesting. Wall finished with 36. Nardelli hits with the catch and shoot, and suddenly it's a one-point game. RCK took its first lead on this Katie Wall layup, but she was far from done. Ketchum led 29-24 at halftime. Second half, Nicole Masakio starts to load up some Patriot missiles. She finished with 29 points, but Jay had no answers for Wall. Off the rebound, Katie goes coast to coast for the basket. And then it's Katie Wall against the world. She drives right through four defenders. RCK led 41-37 in the fourth quarter. But John Jay starts to make its move as Masakio socks one from the outside. And Alyssa Caswell hoists one for two. Big shot by Nicole to tie the game at 54. Yes, we have a barn burner brewing. With one minute remaining, Wall to Nardelli to Jessica Castanis for a wide open two. But Jay's Radovic lays up two and it's tied at 56 with 17 seconds remaining. Ketchum draws up a play. Wall plays for the foul. No call and we're headed to overtime. In the OT, Misakio sets the tone with the long ranger. It's 59-56 J. Maya Smith gets the and one with 6.3 seconds remaining. And Smith shows some nerves of steel. It's 63-60 RCK. J has a chance, but an errant pass puts the ball back in the hands of their rival. Jay forced to foul, Katie Wall at the line. That seals the deal as Ketchum beats Jay in overtime. 65-60 the final on the William A. Smith & Son Insurance scoreboard. We came out slow, but um, we picked it up. We said we're so much better than this, and we picked it up, and we, that's how we did it. You know, talk about being clutch. You know, you got a lot of clutch baskets. It's so important. A rival school, you know it's an important game. Um, I was just going to the hoop, doing my thing, and my teammates were there, setting good screens, open shots. Jess, Meg, Maya, they all were there. We all like lifted up each other um, as a team, told each other like we have to talk on defense, move the ball around, and that's what we did, and we brought it up, and we won like that as a team. Talk to me about the mental through the game, though. You guys looked like you started off slow, but then after the second, third quarter, you guys picked up, finishing your chances. Yeah, we're you know we're we're in a little rut right now. We need to. Um, do a lot of things better, and um, and we will. Um, you know, we've been just like everybody else, battling illness and sickness, and um, we're just getting very inconsistent play right now. But we'll we'll get better. You know, obviously it's a it's a big game whenever you play your crosstown rival, and uh, you know there's there's so much room for this team to grow, and hopefully we'll do that. Uh, you know, Ketchum's a great team, and we knew we were going to have a battle coming in here tonight, and I, I think my kids were up for it. You know, uh, they came in, they played hard from tip to finish, and that you know that's all I can ask of them. You know, um, they they were they were terrific tonight. We were down at halftime, we definitely were still pumped up because we knew that we were in this game. Ketchum doesn't have very many close games like this this year, yeah. and it was really nice to come back from last year when we lost them twice and come back with getting them into overtime. Like, that's amazing. Yeah.